Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. I usually go back only to 1700, but this one has impacted the world so much I had to include it. In 1662, the world's first public bus service begins in Paris, France. It only lasts until 1675, but set a precedent as an inexpensive way for people to go from here to there for centuries to come. In 1766, the British Parliament repealed the Stamp Act of 1765 after violent protests from American colonists, including a group known as the Sons of Liberty. In 1818, the U.S. Congress approves the first pensions for government service, including themselves, of course. In 1834, the first railroad tunnel in the United States is completed. It is in Pennsylvania. In 1837, American politician Grover Cleveland was born. He is the only U.S. president to serve two non-consecutive terms, from 1885 to 1889, and then again from 1893 to 1897. Bonus fun, he was also the only president to be married in the White House. In 1850, American Express is founded by Henry Wells and William Fargo. In 1865, the Congress of the Confederate States of America adjourns for the last time. In 1874, Hawaii signs a treaty with the United States granting exclusive trading rights. In 1877, U.S. President Rutherford B. Hayes appoints Frederick Douglass as Marshal of Washington, D.C. In 1878, the city of Anaheim, California incorporates for the second time. If you watch my channel, you know that they couldn't afford it the first time. In 1881, the greatest show on earth, the Barnum & Bailey Circus, debuts at Madison Square Garden in New York City. In 1882, Morgan Earp is assassinated by outlaws while playing billiards in Tombstone, Arizona. In 1891, Britain is linked to the European continent by telephone. In 1892, Lord Stanley of Preston donates a challenge cup for the best ice hockey team in Canada. Lord Stanley, the Stanley Cup, get it? In 1895, 200 African Americans leave Savannah, Georgia for Liberia, Africa. In 1902, Italian tenor Enrico Caruso made his first phonograph recording. In 1903, following through on its attacks on Roman Catholic institutions, the French government dissolves all Catholic religious orders. In 1911, North Dakota enacts a hail insurance law. In 1921, the steamership Hong Ko runs aground off Swato, China, killing 1,000 people. In 1922, it was Princeton versus Yale in the first intercollegiate indoor polo championship. Also in 1922, British magistrates in India sentenced Mahatma Gandhi to six years imprisonment for disobedience. In 1922 as well, the first public celebration of bat mitzvah for the daughter of Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan is held in New York City. In 1925, the Tri-State Tornado hits the Midwestern states of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, killing 695 people. Also in 1925, eight 60 mile per hour tornadoes rip through Missouri, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee, killing 689 people. Missouri just had it bad that day. In 1931, Schick introduces the first electric shavers in the United States. In 1932, American author John Updike is born today. In 1937, the New London, Texas school explosion kills 300, mostly children. In 1938, Mexico nationalizes all foreign-owned oil properties within its borders, meaning the owners no longer own them. In 1940, Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini meet at the Brenner Pass in the Alps and agree to form an alliance against France and the United Kingdom. In 1942, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt signs Executive Order 9102, establishing the War Relocation Authority in the United States to take Japanese Americans into custody during World War II. Also in 1942, two black players, Jackie Robinson and Nate Moreland, request a tryout with the Chicago White Sox. 
they are allowed to work out with the team. In 1944, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Italy kills 26 and causes thousands to flee their homes. Also in 1944, Nazi Germany occupies Hungary. In 1945, 1,250 American bombers attack Berlin, Germany, dropping 3,000 tons of explosives. In 1948, the Philips Electronics Company begins experimental TV broadcasting. In 1952, in Philadelphia, the first plastic lens for cataract patients is fitted. In 1953, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake hits western Turkey, killing 1,070 people. Also in 1953, Major League Baseball's National League approves the Boston Braves moving to Milwaukee. It is the first team shift in 50 years. In 1958, the Dodgers announced that their mascot and clown, Emmett Kelly, will not perform in 1958. In 1959, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signs a bill into a law allowing for Hawaiian statehood. It becomes official on August 21st. In 1965, Russian cosmonaut Alexei Leonov becomes the first person to spacewalk. Also in 1965, the poppin' fresh Pillsbury Doughboy is introduced. In 1965 as well, a truck loses control in Scranton, Pennsylvania, killing the driver. This accident inspires the 1974 Harry Chapin song, 30,000 Pounds of Bananas. In 1967, the Beatles song, Penny Lane, hits number one. In 1968, the U.S. Congress repeals the requirement for a gold reserve to back U.S. currency. In 1971, a tsunami causes a 100-foot-high wave that destroys a mining camp in Peru and kills hundreds of people. In 1974, seven member countries of OPEC lifted a five-month oil embargo against the United States. In 1977, The Clash released their first recording called White Riot. How vintage. Also in 1977, the U.S. restricts its citizens from visiting Cuba Vietnam, North Korea, and Cambodia. Geez, I wonder why. In 1977 as well, Vietnam hands over missing in action soldiers to the United States. But was that all of them? In 1978, 250,000 attend the California Jam 2 Rock Festival in Ontario, California. In 1979, On the 20th Century closes at the St. James Theater in New York City after 460 performances. In 1980, in Russia, 50 people are killed by an explosion of a Vostok 2M rocket on its launch pad following a fueling operation. In 1982, singer Teddy Pendergrass's spinal cord is severed in a car accident. In 1985, Capital Cities Communications, Inc. acquires ABC for $3.5 billion, becoming the first transfer of ownership of a major TV network. Also in 1985, baseball commissioner Peter Uberoff reinstates Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle. But what about Pete Rose? In 1987, a Gerber baby food survey finds that the most popular names for newborns are Jessica and Matthew. In 1989, in Egypt, a 4,400-year-old mummy is found near the Pyramid of Cheops. Also in 1989, the California Quake amusement ride opens at Universal Studios. In 1990, in what is considered the world's biggest art heist, two men dressed as police officers stole 13 paintings worth over $500 million from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. The stolen art has never been recovered. In 1991, the Philadelphia 76ers retire Wilt Chamberlain's number 13 jersey. In 1992, American pop singer Donna Summer gets a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Also in 1992, American businesswoman Leona Helmsley is sentenced to four years for tax evasion. During her trial, she famously stated, We don't pay taxes, only the little people pay taxes. In 1994, the South Africa Goldstone Committee reveals the existence of secret police. Also in 1994, Zsa Zsa Gabor files for bankruptcy, and still no one knows what she does. In 1995, Michael Jordan announces he is ending 
his 17-month NBA retirement. In 1996, a nightclub fire in Quezon City, Philippines kills 162 people. In 2002, after beginning on March 2nd, Operation Anaconda in Afghanistan ends. 500 Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters are killed and 11 Allied troops lose their lives. Also in 2002, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Isaac Hayes, Brenda Lee, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Gene Pitney, The Ramones, The Talking Heads, Chet Atkins, and Jim Stewart. In 2003, British Sign Language is recognized as an official British language. Also in 2003, FBI agents raid the corporate headquarters of Health South Corporation in Birmingham, Alabama on suspicion of massive corporate fraud led by the company's top executives. And in 2003 as well, in the House of Commons, the British vote in favor of military intervention in Iraq by 412 votes to 149. In 2005, Terry Chavo's feeding tube is removed at the request of her husband. If you don't know what that means, you should Google this fascinating case. Also in 2005, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody premieres on the Disney Channel. In 2013, 98 people are killed and 248 are injured across Iraq from a series of bombings and shootings. In 2014, the U.S. closes the Syrian embassy in Washington and expels all Syrian diplomats. In 2017, the iconic Chuck Berry died today. In 2018, Vladimir Putin is elected to his fourth six-year term as Russian president with 76% of the vote. Also in 2018, an Uber self-driving car hits and kills a pedestrian in Tempe, Arizona. And in 2018 as well, Portuguese soccer superstar Cristiano Ronaldo records his 50th career hat trick in Real Madrid's 6-3 win over Girona. In 2019, according to the United States National Weather Service, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and South Dakota are facing historic to catastrophic flooding. Also in 2019, a champion racing pigeon named Armando the Lewis Hamilton of Pigeons sells for a record $1.42 million in Belgium. Yes, that entire sentence was about a pigeon. In 2020, U.S. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau agreed to close the U.S.-Canada border, the world's longest, to non-essential travel to curb COVID-19. And lastly, in 2021, U.S. President Joe Biden states that Russian President Vladimir Putin is a killer in an ABC News interview. Putin responds a day later by saying, it takes one to know one. So that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. There was some good information today. Lots of stuff happened on this day in history. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Talk to you soon.